Hey, so with the latest edition, um, the latest update of Minecraft, um, they added uh, a trapdoor, which is uh, a really useful little uh, contraption that basically works as a door, but only, only occupies one space. Um, so it has tons of uh, tons of uses, uh, and has several weird properties that make it useful for applications um, underwater. Uh, one of them is that. Uh, well, the most important one is that it doesn't let water or any other fluid to go through it. Uh, it basically represents um, like an air, uh, like a, a solid block, but you, the player, can go through it in either its open or closed state. Uh, it's also very useful uh, in that you can place it on walls, so you can orient it in any ways that you want. Um, you can uh, mine it with uh, pretty much anything that breaks it. Um, so the first application I'm going to show you is for an entrance for an underwater base for uh, creating the entrance. I'm sure there's many other ways to do that. Um, I'm sure many people have underwater bases or any, uh, any sort of structure, um, and they probably have airlocks of what different methods. Um, but using the, the trapdoors, I find it's actually really really simple. So what you start with is a four by two um, rectangle. Uh, you put you need stairs, you need several stairs. I mean, if you want stairs, um, and you also need six trapdoors. You put them on the walls, on the sides, as such. Um, then you can open them, dig underneath, and voila! There is no water down here. That's because the trapdoors, um, the first six trapdoors. Well, you're not gonna need any more. They serve to block this level of having water source blocks go into them therefore when you dig underneath no water flows down so now you can uh, basically you now continue to make your uh, your underwater base and uh, do um, from here on out really it's, it's, it, it's up to you but see now you have this entrance you can keep digging down on um, and it's it, it's it's pretty cool. It's kind of big. You can put torches on the sides down here, down here, here. These blocks here, you can put torches. Um, if you feel like it, you can close the uh, close the trap doors and um, and whatever. So the second um, kind of block I want to show you, kind of um, whatever you want to call it, really airlock. Uh, method for keeping water out of uh, exits and entrances of an underwater structure. Uh, ways for keeping water to, from flowing into your structure. Um, so, I'm going to go to my uh, little room that I made underwater recently. And this requires I mean, for this one, you don't even need stairs, but uh, if you feel like it, why not? Um, this one is for making exits out of an existing underwater structure. Um, I don't know how people usually do it, but I, I came up with this one a few days ago. If someone else has done it, then please just don't say anything or just say, oh, you suck, this is old news. Um, so yeah. Uh, you basically kind of dig out of your underwater structure. You're going to have some water flow out at first. But you basically put the trapdoors on the walls as such. Once again on the walls, not, not across. Um, and then you can just you can flow out. But you see the water flows outside, but the trapdoors keep it from, uh, from flooding your entrance. You can make this wider. You can make this probably uh, a 4x4 four by, four by putting some on the walls and stuff. Uh, you, you can really play around with this. So um, I'm going to show you kind of how to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it just two by two. So I can go down. It's going to be obviously different in your case depending on what your structure is. So I'm going like this. One is going to go in. Put one on the walls. You can also hit behind. And this one actually ended up being a little bit different than the other one because now the water is above you so you just jump and you catch the water and you flow out 
and on your way down you can just kind of aim for this and pop, you're in so yeah there's um that's what i want to show you there's lots of uh, different things you can do with these things and different airlocks and stuff you can do but uh, that's just the two i've come up with so far thanks for watching and peace